In this video, I'm applying underglazes to wet clay. I drew a shotgun style house into the clay before allowing it to dry to leather hard. Leather hard means the clay can still be worked upon to a certain degree. Specifically, it can be glazed using underglazes. I am using Mako Stroke and Coat underglazes in a variety of colors. Green and pink are some of my favorite color combinations. I chose to create a colorful co colorful shotgun house because I adore their architecture and vibrant color schemes. I'm also obsessed with corbels. Corbels are solid pieces of wood that bear weight, typically under porches. Some of my favorite homes in New Orleans feature elaborate or intricate corbels into their design, so I added some corbels to this little house. I actually grew up in a shotgun house. They're called shotgun houses because you can shoot a gun and the bullet could travel from one entrance to the next without impediment. This shotgun house was also inspired by an actual home in New Orleans. Ironwork is another design element commonly found in New Orleans homes. I added a lantern light to create more detail in my design. There are also streets in New Orleans that are still illuminated by lantern style fixtures. It's quite ethereal looking and I wanted to pay homage to that. I like to think that this piece will eventually serve as decoration in my own home. I wanted it to appear whimsical and I think the color combinations and actual drawing achieve that. I am, a pre I am preparing this piece as an example to show others whom I'll be teaching. I really enjoy pottery because it can be functional art. It is timeless. I can use my painting and drawing skills when decorating. I love using my hands in general. I want to create unique opportunities for people to expand their potential. So I strive to make projects that are achievable at any experience level. If you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe. You can find more on my website. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. You can find more of my art on my website, www.foin.art.